This is a $50 chicken coop. It may not be the fanciest or the most interesting, nor is it whatever is going on here, but it, but it is, is functional. functional. Today's the fifth day of going off grid in 30 days, and our goal is to build a chicken coop for under $50. The first thing you wanna do is look for a hardware store or warehouse, and nine times out of 10, if you ask nicely, they'll give you their leftover wooden pallets for free. There's usually multiple sizes to choose from, and there's usually plenty of them. Now we need to find a tarp for the roof, but it needs to be made out of vinyl so it lasts for years through the weather, and we prefer it to be free. And the answer's right in front of you. It's billboards. Because hundreds of billboard tarps are made every day, and they're hard to recycle, billboard companies give them away for free all the time. We can also get other pieces of scrap wood from hardware stores, where they're given out for free. We're using leftover post and chicken mesh from a past project, but you can get both of these on Amazon for about $40. First, we're gonna level out the site. We're on a bit of a slope here, so we're gonna use two by fours, some one, uh, um, by four by half inch boards as shims and then cinder blocks to level up our pallet walls. We're basically gonna make a partial cube out of pallets. Then we're gonna work on structural support and then adding the little peaked roof, adding the billboard vinyl, and then adding roosting bars for the chickens. There won't be any perfectly 90 degree angles. There won't be any perfect corners. It's not gonna be perfectly level. There's nothing perfect about this chicken coop, but it's mostly free, and we're not gonna agonize about the details too much because we just need it to be functional, and I think the chickens are gonna like it. So what we've done is we leveled out the two by fours, the shims, and the cinder blocks. We got our walls up, we got a back put on, we got some supports put on the top, now we need to work on fashioning the roof, which we'll cover in billboard tarp. It's not going to be winning any beauty contests, but we're still trying to make it look as tidy as we can. We've got the roof stapled on and under pretty well. Now we're going to just use a utility blade to kind of trim things up before we do the last few staples. Now we're gonna tidy up the foundation. Just cut some of the excess wood, get the scrap wood out of the way. I had to contort myself to climb under these roosting bars in the netting, but it's important that we put wood inside the chicken coop between the ground and the bottom of the pallets. Those gaps are perfect for critters to just crawl through. All the netting is pointless if critters can crawl through the bottom. We're building the run, so we wanna see how many feet of run we can get away with with the amount of materials we have left over. We'll take this garden stake and then use the T-post um, hammer and then just temporarily put this in a little bit to make sure that all of the mesh we have left over matches up and can stretch around the run. We have some amazing partners and sponsors who have come together to help give us the opportunity to make this off-grid build in 30 days a reality for everyone watching. So we'll be full-time on this until the end of this year. We would love the support to keep doing this full-time. If you'd like to see more Acorn Land Labs content, consider supporting our Patreon or buying our off-grid course. We hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. You don't have to spend a fortune on a chicken coop. You can make it functional like this. Obviously, we had the tools. The tools are important, especially that automatic stapler. I think the four girls are pretty happy in there. They need names, and we want your help naming these four hens. So put your name ideas in the comments below. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for all the support.